Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi. I'm your hostess for this evening. We have Christine Pettit back on. Uh, we were on last week and we just forgot to talk about something that was really important. So we're going to be doing that tonight. We also have Diana Barroso. Did I say that right? Yeah. Diana, are you from Valencia, Spain? Madrid. Madrid. She's from Madrid. Can you believe it? And she lives in Farmington and you lived in Miami before you moved here, right? Yes. Isn't that cool? So she's with us tonight. And then my daughter, Nettie, is behind us over here. And um, we're going to be doing a little bit different things here. Last time we were here, we are doing, Christine's doing Snoop Dogg. And you know, it's a perfect uh, diptych. You know, that means two paintings hanging together, by the way. It's a perfect diptych um, in any rec room or, you know, uh, any room, really. But um, it's a perfect match, really is. I'm who doesn't wonder, want who Snoop does, who doesn't in their rec Snoop? room? Right. So I'm going to do Martha. She's going to do Snoop. And we're going to be painting. Well, but today's episode. I'm going to paint Snoop. We're going to paint. We're, yeah, we're going to do one episode, maybe two. We'll see what happens. Um, last time you were on, we got so into painting Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg that we totally forgot that Christine is going to try to start a show here at Nutmeg. And it's pretty cool. Um, it's about paranormal paranormal Stories. experiences yes that people have about their houses in the neighborhood and you know i grew up in a um, for the Georgia. region farmington Valley, yeah for the even. region so if you've ever had i have had people mention that they've had ghosts in their house or what paranormal whatever experiences so we brought diana on today because diana um, lives in the historic section of main street we won't tell you where because we <laughs> might live next door to her uh, but she's going to discuss with Christine because Christine has had that too. I have not. My sister said we were in a haunted house because I lived in a 1654 house growing up, which was a stagecoach stop for George Washington, very old home. She thought we had some, I didn't know, but that's what we're going to do. So while we're painting, we are going to have Christine kind of take over and interview Diana a little bit and see what their experiences are like because to me, it's, it's wacky. I love it. So. When Christine does come back on and has her show, um, please reach out. Call Netmig TV if you've had these experiences. It'll make for a great show. And we just, I want to hear more about it because I never really, of course, I believe in them when other people tell me, but I just try to, like, kind of zone it out. So, yeah, so we're going to be painting. And, um, yeah, so tell me, what was, like, you've had experiences? Sure. Well, I think most people try to zone them out. That's why I, I, I always like to talk about them because nobody ever talks about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No. And then and the more kind of I bring it up, people always lean right in and they want to talk about it more. Yeah. We so, didn't think much of it, and now that me no, and Eddie were we talking like, about it, we realized yeah. that. Like it's kind it was, of it was it's weird. creepy, yeah. Well, and that's the thing to say you didn't, you don't think you had any experiences, and then you start listening to other people, and you're like, yeah, my sister. Oh yes, I have. Sure. <laughs> yes. 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 That's the thing. You look back on things sometimes, and you go, oh, even if you don't know at the time. But how did you? What's happening at your place? Yeah, I, I moved to my house hear. like like a year ago. Yeah, just about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. From Miami. From Miami. Okay. And um, well, at first, like the house, it was always like either really cold or really hot. Like oh, I would seriously? have friends, yes, I would have friends sleep I, over. So, yeah. It's, there's this one room where it's like, it's kind of like right, I don't know, is it a bathroom? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's like freezing. It's so cold. It's it is? so there's cold. There's one room in my house that's like it really is cold. so cold. And then like when I would have friends sleep over, they would say that like middle of the night out of like nowhere, they would like get really cold. Really? Like they just felt like they would wake up with how cold it was. Mm -hmm. So you first noticed the heat yeah. and you'd have the heat uh, normal. I would have the heat on normal, normal. Like, okay. like strong too. I know it was, it, it definitely wasn't just because it was winter. And it was like, this would also happen during summer. Like it would just get really cold in my house, but I didn't think much of it. No, and then you didn't recently, think much. No. yeah, old houses, old houses, houses yeah, yeah. Way to explain and I just moved from Miami, things. so I thought it was like <laughs> Connecticut like gets heat flashes or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and usually you want it to be something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. want so exactly. you're going you, to find yeah, it you put your mind yeah. to like, yeah, yeah. Think you're gonna find a way to be like, yeah. well, there's a lot of wind in this one. So then what happened? Um, 21 around October. Um, it's funny because it was our last sleepover. I haven't slept over since. We haven't slept over since. Gee, why? So. The before Nettie slept over, yep. I had a sleepover with a group of friends, and I live near the cemetery. So me and my friends we were like riding our bikes, and we went over to the cemetery, and we were looking at the the graveyards. And there was one that stood out to us, and it was Theodate Pope's. Mm -hmm. And we have you ever heard of her before? I hadn't, but we were learning in school about it for a project. So, but but I didn't mm -hmm. think like I, like I just said, it just stood out. To no, me. like. Yeah, yeah, it was me and Nettie, and this is the first time we had a sleepover. 
Yeah, it was it's me our first one. Yeah. yeah. No, we had a second one after this one. And then we saw the grave, right? We didn't think much of it. Mm -hmm. We just like. And why don't you tell it? Tell That's us a little side. bit about the grave. Yeah. yeah. So it was it's like, in the town cemetery. It's in the town cemetery, mm -hmm. and we were like, you know what? Let's joke around, and we got like it was. I think it's called a ghost box. Which is something, an app on your phone box, you can get. Yeah, it's like a spirit box. Yeah. Okay. It's an app you get on your phone, right? And you put it near the grave, and it like makes noises when it. Yeesh. Yeah. You yeah. put it like it's like you ask. So it you're not person. avoiding any of this. <laughs> then we got really, we got, we got like excited I into it. I know. Page. So that, okay, so you're okay, not avoiding okay, it. Okay, so no? you're and investigating. We started like all asking right, and right. stuff, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. And then. And what? And then what happened? Um, we just like. And then one of my friends jokingly was like, do you get negative energy from Diana? And well, we heard the ghost book be like, yeah. But you know, we, we thought it was just like, it's a nap, whatever. So we go home, Yeah. right? Yeah. And then I come. Yeah. Yeah, then it's, I didn't know any of this. Okay. And Nettie sleeps over, right? Well, I didn't know any, any of this till like months after. Like, we realized. It, it almost like took me like, I, I need to be like, oh wait, that was a weird night. Mm -hmm. okay. And then it all. This is a don't try this at home moment. Yeah. I'm just gonna interject. Yeah. Generally, oh yeah, you don't know what you're doing, or in terms of what's there. Yeah. So, most of the time, you want to avoid uh, questioning or asking questions or inviting something. Yeah, going we, on to that. We didn't oh, really follow that. Yeah, we didn't really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know. So if you're inviting, you that can be a little. But okay, okay going so on. Just for the viewers at home. For the viewers at home. Yes, picture you right. are with someone who's maybe done it before or can advise or have a sense yeah. of what's going on because you don't want to open so a door. So instead of investing your time in it, figure out what you're going to yeah. do first. Be safe. So that, that you night could be the dealing with rude people. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rude dead people. Yeah. So not at the sleepover, they don't go we away. decide to jokingly, yeah. like, get a, a pendulum, which okay. is like um, a cleansed crystal. Yeah. And you put it over a piece of paper that says yes, yes, or no, no. So if it swings one way, that means it's a yes. If it swings the other way, it's a no. So you have to ask yes or no questions. Are you familiar with these things? Or is this kind of like you're online? This is new. Or like it's one of those things where you see it on the internet. To look in? Well, yeah. it's like all okay. over TikTok. Okay. okay. Just okay. wondering why Some people do the pencil thing. Okay. I don't yeah. know what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Just and just I've known about like crystals and stuff. So I yeah. just placed and I used the pendulum. Yeah. And we yeah. were asking like, you know, dumb when we're going yeah. to yeah. sleep yeah. over. Yeah, exactly. So it was like, it was, it was late. It was over 20. Like a Ouija board, weird stuff, right? You were up late sleep over. Yeah. Don't tell your mom. So we were swing, asking questions, and we asked, like, is there a spirit within us? And it, like, it slowly, like, swung towards yes. We still didn't think much of it. We still think it's a joke, right? Yeah, you still no, the whole it. thing we thought it was, we thought it was stupid, a joke. Like, we still, like, stupid. We, and we, we thought it was a joke for like yeah. until now. But like it, it's one of those things where it's like you feel guilty calling it stupid because like you're like you're kind of just uneased. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. like you feel bad calling it stupid. Yeah. So it's one it's one of those things. Okay. So we swing it. We we ask, is there spirit? And it swings the right to us. Mm -hmm. like, is it a good or bad or is it a good spirit? And it just stays still. It doesn't say no. Yeah. Then it was, yes. after that it was like. Then it got really creepy. Like, yeah. then we asked, is it, because we went earlier to the cemetery to ask about theory. Mm. So we're like, is the ghost theory? And it, like, more strongly went It was towards. weird. Yeah. It, was it was so, so weird. weird. It was so Had weird. Had you ever been to the Hillstead Museum in your life? No. So you didn't even know anything about I her? didn't even know. No. See, that's what We were just saying, like, random names. I forgot the other lady we said. Or no, it was a man. Because it was the grave. The gra we said... No, we were, just, like, we said it was Natural something, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Cause we saw the grave, so we said that, and it was crazy. And then, well, we just got over. We're a little spooked, but we went to bed. Mm -hmm. But it's like enough to like, we can still go to bed. Yeah. Like we're not that mm -hmm. creepy. And then, okay, we had another friend there too. Mm -hmm. And then the morning after, the friends asked if my parents were like home with us, and I was like, "Get yeah, their home." And she's like, "Oh, because in the middle of the night, I started hearing like people knocking on your door, and I thought it was your parents." Okay. Huh. And so I was like, oh, "Okay, my parents maybe wanted to check in on us." So then, the, so then I go up to my parents and I'm like, hey, did you guys, were like, were you guys knocking on my door? And oh. they said they never woke up in the yeah. middle of the night. It's weird. Now, and do they, are Dinah's they on board room, that they think there's a ghost? Dinah's room's yeah. almost like an attic as well. Yeah, my room's like an attic. It's, it's on like a, it's, it's higher. It's on the top, top level. It's like, uh -huh. it's mm -hmm. like a weird, like, It's a big room. It's attic. like a bathroom. It's, yeah, it's a big yeah, it's room. weird. Um, okay. So it's like. Like a servant's quarters you do the staircase. Like, it, we went to bed at four in the morning. We went to bed We went to bed very late. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. And I was out for a while. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's could, could because it's we we're all pie, like it's an attic, but like it was noisy. Yeah, no, was, am I right? Was, that the and, the, and the later it got like around like three, four in the morning, it got cold. Yeah. Mm. And it was Very October. Strange. It was like awful. I was like shivering. Now the funny thing I wanted to know is my husband was, you know, obsessed with this movie, this this TV <coughs> show that was on. And it was about the people that live in the front of your house. And we won't say that address either because I don't want to expose people. But um, the whole show was about the people that lived in front of you who are now since moved. So there's what new whole owners. show? Was it the name of the show? Um, it was uh, <clears throat> the people that chase ghosts. Um, the Warner, what like, are they called? The Warners? The Watsons? The isn't, Warners? Ma isn't Dad? Dad's like related, related to, them. to them. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I think it's called The Warrens. Look at that. That's we have 15 minutes. Warrens. I love it. There 15 go. minutes to talk paranormal. So, you know what? I want to add yeah. to your story because this okay. is, it's funny. I know. And I never, we didn't go over, you just mentioned Thea Day, and since I used to work at the Hillstead the Hillstead, Museum. Right. Oh, you used to work there? I did. And my oh. office was in within the home, the rooms of the home, actually, that they used. It was kind of like a billiard room. Oh. So I was in a, a child's bedroom that they had an adopted Ooh, were? Mm -hmm. they That's had an adopted um, five-year-old for a little while um, oh. at, who actually passed there oh really um, so anyway so I'm in that place and I'm I'm writing uh, I did their social media so I'm yeah. always looking for stories right and I'm, I'm loving this job because I'm oh my gosh it's just art and yeah pretty Perfect cool stuff you. all yeah. day and I can just which Monet do I want to go stare at when I, I first like come into work line. today? Yeah. You know, it yeah. was amazing, amazing. True, so, I forgot about that. So we're coming to, um, I'm not sure why, oh, I think I was just sitting and I, a lot of times I would just sit and kind of, you know, wait for an idea, you know, inspiration strikes, whatever. Yeah. Yep. So I'm um, kind of tooling around, looking at the dates and it's uh, late January. I think it's like, um, probably like post Super Bowl, something like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm not doing any more. You know, I wasn't doing a lot of sports, yep. most obviously, but I always try to tie it into the season. So I'm like, all right, and I'm looking around and I'm just getting this instinct to go check out um, the, the, her grave site because mm -hmm. I had never seen it before. Update, I've been only working on this jacket so far. This is how I wave. Snoop, yeah. what would he do? I don't, well, I don't, know. don't know. I'm not going to throw gang signs because <laughs> they caused it. him a little bit of trouble <laughs> no. over the years. But. So you're in this. All right. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go check Creepy. out her grave. And I go in and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to go see Thea Date's grave. It's her birthday you did? next week. Really? Yeah. And and so, so I went up to the to Melanie. She's the curator. She's been there for a long time. And okay. I said, Melanie, where am I headed? And I said, I know it's in Riverview. And, so and she's water? like, you don't know where you're going? And I said, I'll, I'll find it. And she's going. Okay, well, like, yeah, right. um, it's not easy to explain, but you go down the road, it's on the side of the road, it's right near this, you know, and she's says, here's the flagpole, and it's near the flagpole. Okay, there. So near she gives Wallace, me a, a basic yes. whatever. Okay. However, this is late January, mm -hmm. so everything's covered in snow, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get there, and I'm assuming it's a raised marker. It was Big flat. Wonderful. Completely Versus? flat. Mm -hmm. It's not a monument? No. So it's oh, four flat Markers like when they bury next babies, to each other. Right? Correct. Yes. Well, one is the five-year-old. It is. And yes. one's her butler. One's her Seriously? husband. And yeah. one's her. Side. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Oh, wow. Right. So the four of them are together. Gordon is the little five-year-old whose office I worked in. And so I get there and I'm I like, okay, I don't know where I am and I don't know what the plot looks like. And it's snow, but I find the there is a walled one next to it. So I'm like, all right. So I go and I'm looking at the. Um, and I'm like, well, and I take my foot and I'm just scraping around. Maybe I can find where it is. Mm -hmm. And the only, the very first thing I scrape off is the date's birthday of this entire and you were going huge. To see the and these person. plots are like, they're I like, can't believe I'm it. you know, I know I seven it. by four, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I take I a picture it of flat. it. No. I did. I took a picture of the whole thing. I have pictures of this. I can prove it. Because when stuff it. like this happens now, I'm like, oh, oh no one's going to blame me. I'm taking a picture. Now that we look at it, and then you take video because they can manipulate photos. And well, that's crazy. right. That is like, we would have never so saw. I took no, the picture of the date and sent it to her, and she said that was her her grave. Wow. And then she said. But that's the wrong year. And I was like, what do you mean? And she said, that's not the year she was born. 
What do you oh, mean they have the, they put the wrong they date, put the wrong date on, date on, the on stone. her grave? They did? <laughs> yes, they sure did. Hmm. It's so so she like told me to go there and look at the dates wrong and the of all the thing things to uncover that's is the crazy. wrong date. That's so, so I was weird. like, hmm. So, so if it is, happened? she's quite communicative. Well, then I took pictures and cleaned them off. I can't believe that. However, I will say one more thing about that, and I'm sorry I know you have to say, but no, I love they, it. Um, over the years, since they're flat the, and they don't have protection around the edges, mm -hmm. the mowers have gone over them, and they have all these like main huge like tire marks on them. I find it very disrespectful, and I would really like to clean them. So if anybody else wants to help me do that, please let oh, me know. Oh, we would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Those I that ghost won't hunt me. Well, maybe it, she'll go away, it's, right? Well, it's respect, right? So, yeah. That but is the oddest story. Don't though. aggravate. Where don't invite. The grave don't invite. Is all right. No. Where is right the grave? Don't open doors down. if someone's knocking, yeah. by the way. Don't do my, it. No, my friend's uh, grandmother used to be the person that the Catholic Church would sometimes call when they needed to exorcise demons or whatever. Oh, and wow. she'd come home and she said, do not open that door. I don't care what you do. Do not, do not open, open that door, door when wow. it, someone knocks on it. And, and they would. There would be knocks on the door after she'd come back from things like that. So... I think they have to be invited. I don't know. That's wow. I'm just telling okay. you what I heard. No, she was from like old school Greece. You well, know? I remember I was we were at the Hillstead with the um, Kristen. Kristen, uh, with the tour with, with the lambs, program. and I was. Oh yeah, with the sheep. I was with oh, my camera yeah. and I was taking photos of the lambs. Yeah. And the I think it's like to the right, but the lambs would just not. They wouldn't look at my camera. Not even towards me. They were all just gathered. It was so weird. I don't know what they was were it like attracted cold? to. It was, it was freezing. Well, I don't know what it they was. They huddle, but they were like yeah, all on a rock yeah. and like looking everywhere. And, and they're like a little, uh, little diva-ish, I will say. They are. I have photographed those lambs at times, I, I, and they're oh, a little bit like. So they <laughs> are. They are. And they're not always ready. For oh, that now stuff. the babies come out, right? Yeah. And then it's this time of year. Waterhouse. <gasps> oh, oh, right. they're for wool. Mom. You're so funny. Oh, they're for wool. They don't kill the meat. Mom, they don't. So they don't. No, it's fiber art. Mom, they, but how they come the make where do the wool. babies go you then when they disappear? Think that they, don't. they disappear <laughs> in the spring. Yeah, where do they go? They get bigger. They're, they don't stay babies. They don't do the meat there. Oh, I didn't no. know that. Oh, didn't they don't know disappear. That. They turn into sheep. Oh, I lambs turn into that. sheep. It's yeah. like they disappeared, but and it's, it's that's like not what happened. I did not know that. Oh they man, we are learning a lot today. We are. That's pretty bad. So how about who, like, what other, I know you, your parents obviously are on board with this because yeah. you're, they're planning on moving, yeah. you know, so it's kind of neat. Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. I don't think so, but I think they, they definitely believe in it. Like every time, I'm telling you, every time one of my friends comes over, we have a guest over, they always say that they leave feeling like something weird. Like any yeah. of my friends that have been over, and they'll, all, they'll yeah. all say that when, like, they'll be like, Diana, I feel like your house is haunted. What about your parents? Who was and the first one that was like, it's okay? It's funny because Diana and her family, as they moved in, they, they knew nothing because they were new to this whole thing. Well, they were in Spain, Spain even Florida, anything. and then right. in Connecticut. It's right. like, right. It's, just moved here. They didn't know any information, so it's not like. That's what I thought. And was they don't even neat. speak much English as well. It, you know, what was funny to me as well was that I was, um, I came to the Hillstead the first time I came, I thought, the first time I had come there was for. Um, around Halloween, they did. They used to a couple, like three directors ago. Um, they Sue were Sturdivant? doing. No. Yes, oh, I love yes. Sue. Yeah, so yep. she was doing. Um, Sue uh, They were doing like spiritualism tours. So that mm. around Halloween, they had like because okay. the, they did a lot of spiritual and psychical research. She there did a lot. a lot of good work there. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. they. Uh, that's the very first time I went there, and then um, there's a million things that happened over time um, there, but. I was probably around 30 years old, and I was like, oh, my goodness, I didn't even know this was here, this and that. But it, it seemed really familiar to mm -hmm. me, even though I hadn't been there before. God, I can't believe and it. And then I started working there maybe 10 years later or 12 years later. I'd been volunteering for years. And, and then um, I was coming in one day, and I, I um, had work, been working with the Sunken Garden Poetry Festival, and I was standing up on the stage, and I was looking around, and I had this strange feeling like, why do I really feel like I've been here before? Like you did, oh, like one of those, yeah, yeah, and like yeah, not yeah, deja vu. Oh, oh, okay, but yeah. I was like deja vu, but like mm, extreme deja vu. I actually think I have. You know, I really, like, this yeah. is a little much. I really recognize this. It was just this one spot I was standing in, and suddenly I was like, "What is going on?" And I looked, and I did some research, and as I'm posting and looking through things, I realized 
I sang at the second Sunken Garden Poetry Festival with Bristol Eastern High School, came there on a bus, sang, took left on a bus, wow. didn't even really know where I was, right? But I was on that same stage, sitting in the same place, so I was like, This is weird. Yeah, 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 it's a highlight. So everything about that place is like, what in the world? That's weird, yeah, it's one of those like weird, like memories that you remember, you're like three. So now every time something I remember, I'm like, do I remember it or do I remember it? Can in general, I feel like has such a haunted, like, aura Especially near yours in the Hillstead, it's it's very, like, old and that's all me and my brother talk about. Connecticut, yeah. especially in New England, I feel like has such an yeah. Like New England has like oldish, yeah. scary aesthetic. Yeah, it's like weird. The Conjuring and all that was in Connecticut. And mass. The Conjuring was yes. Yeah. Well, really? it's it's the oldest, you know, some yeah, of the oldest those, yeah. places in the country. And I, I also lived in Charleston, South Carolina, which was an oh, yeah. another yeah, older city. Is. You know, so these places they have more people have died there. It's just factually, yeah. you know. Exactly. Yeah. I can't even believe Our it. time. No, but I had, I, when I used to teach at the senior center, Rose, shout out to Rose if you ever want to come on. Rose had a terrible experience and it was just like a screaming child oh, and it would come into yeah. the house and she was so free. I think they Ooh. moved. Yeah, Rose, I think you moved. You told me, Rose Mangini. Um, but she'd be a great guest. But I mean, the rest of the people in that class were kind of looking at her like, oh yeah, right. But no, you could tell just by the way she stopped painting. She was like so focused on talking about it. So, um, yeah, I, I believe, but no, no inviting, no inviting. I've got... Do you talk to them and say, like, please leave me alone, oh, or is that see, not good? Oh, see, yes, I'm, yes. Is that good to say? Yes. What? It is? Really? Yes. Really? With the you have along you're alive. Nicely. You're in charge. Well, so you we would just depend on we did, like, I would get my like, ends and snow, and I would try to. Well, you're talking about, that. that's a little bit different. What I mean is if something's happening that you don't like, okay. you can say, hmm. uh, no. You know, by the power of, and then you in, insert yeah. belief system here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, by the power. You know, there's many ways yeah. of just. But if imagine if it was a, some rude, obnoxious person, what would you say to them? Exactly. Please leave. So say yeah, it. Please leave. Say it's it the same way. But that it. night was one of those. And you like, can say, please. There's no need to be it rude. It was one either, of those right? nights where it's like. I don't. I can't even explain Me it. Either. I cannot. It felt so weird after. It was just weird. It but wasn't we, scary. Like, now that we're like actually thinking about. No, it. it's really weird now. At the time, we knew nothing. Well, right. I down, didn't even know. Right. Down I think my dad was happened, there. and then if it happens again, look at it. What's similar? Yeah. You know, I mean, now I can't even go over Diana's house. Even yeah, every time Nettie yeah. comes I over, can't she even, feels like... I feel weird. Yeah, I've moved out of places because of that, too. Dad believes in it, Nettie. There I mean, is he the loves house. watching the Warrens. Well, it's also Catherine. Yeah, it's the Warrens. If you look up the Warrens and then you go on, I won't say the address, but Warrens, Warrens Ghost uh, Experience, and then you put on Main Street Farmington, you'll probably get it. Thank you. We have two minutes left. You know, it seems like forever, because what's a TikTok? Three minutes? Yeah. Right? You could do a TikTok for three minutes. Yeah. And it can. seems like forever, so we do have a ton of time. Um, but I'm so well, glad Christine came on. Diana, <laughs> thanks for coming on. Hi, Nat. Doesn't Diana Hi, guys. look more like me than my own? Kid? It's been a while. It's been a while since I've yeah, been on. Yeah, Diana and I are, are darker. I wish I was tan, though. Don't you kind of wish sometimes? I wish Mom, you do tan. get oh, tan. Oh, shame. Well, tan. we have two minutes. Let me give an actual piece okay. of advice. That Christine I, will let so, it and Okay, so I've lived in off. haunted places, and I've been like attacked in my sleep and her big steps coming down the hall and the bed shakes wake me up like for six months straight you know where they're whatever the intention is you're starting to go crazy you can't sleep you can't you're fearful you think it's going to happen so i went and i learned that if you visualize it doesn't matter if it's whatever you visualize a window it can be in a wall it can be floating and you close that window in your mind and you say that's it no more communication. I am off limits. Everybody leave me alone. There is zero contact between wherever you are, whatever's going on, and me. I'm shutting it down. And it works. Wow. It really does. I never hey, think that would work. Do you, I did not say it nicely or you have to say it firmly? Okay. When this stuff starts <clears throat> bothering you and you're aware of it, good luck ignoring it because it gets louder. Yeah. So oh, I God. eventually had to ask, because you get embarrassed. Like, who are you going to go ask random people? Do you have to be firm, like, please people? leave me alone, or do you, you be know, nice? No, it's like, you don't even have to say anything. You close the window. That's it? Close I'm, the window. But if you want to directly address something, speak directly. You got to do something you know. about it, yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, don't give too much attention. It's like kind of when a, when a kid hits you, 
Right. Can't they get don't. too crazy about it because no. then they'll hit you more. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, that balancing yeah. act. Like it's an aggravating child, uh, like you were, or that no, that you were saying somebody was a kid was yelling screaming, or something. Screaming. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So scream back. Okay. Right. Get the heck out of here. You know. I anyway, I never have to encounter one. So when Christine, what are you? What would you name your show? Ghostbusters. For Christine? Oh, I, I think no, that it's going to be something I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Twilight with Christine? Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, well, it's going to be data-driven. I want I want as, as close Euphoria. to true, <laughs> in, a personal, true personal experience. I, I, think, hear, it, say, I think it would hear. be a great... I want personal description. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing that. Yeah, no, because yeah, I feel like well. everyone has a personal story. Yeah, so I, I know. know. It's a good show. Because yeah. everyone... And then you see what's it. common, you know, and that's how you find data. What's, what's a lot of And you realize that story. something yeah. that you might have thought was not a right. paranormal experience ended up being. Yeah. Maybe. We're just going to talk real. about it. A lot of it's just how did you feel? And that's what you end up discussing. So we're going to hold these up wow. and we're going to call it quits. Um, this is a great pair. You're going to have to have these two, Christine. Because these are kind of fun. Yeah, these are fun to hang at parties. You can take them down like your refrigerator doors. I love them. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. When Christine does have her show, please reach out because that will be a popular show. And um, I'll look for other people that have had these experiences. But until then, thank you so much for tuning in. We love it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time on the Crack of Dawn. <laughs> that was so fun. Who's this better? Just kidding. The Saybrook Fish House in Canton has been serving fresh seafood, chicken, and steak entrees for 34 years, offering three cozy dining room settings, a newly renovated pub with craft beer, wine by the glass, specialty cocktails, and a lighter fare menu. Open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Reservations accepted for parties of 2 to 42, and gift certificates are also available. The Saybrook Fish House, nestled at the crossroads of Route 44, 202, and 179 in Canton.